The episode with Erica Mena using the racial slurs has aired. You've watched it. Tell me, what are you thinking? What are you feeling in this moment? Oh, Lord. You know, seeing it live, seeing the scene, hearing the sounds, it was like you felt it. Watching that, um, it was really upsetting to me. To me, it turned from like a one-on-one -on -one to like a one-on the culture. <laughs> My first go-to in anger or in outrage is not a racial slur. Okay, Spice, the world has seen the episode. What would you like to say about it? Um, I don't want to get emotional. Why did I have to do this? Um, I don't know. Whew. It's a lot. I don't want to... It's not just about me. Erica came for an entire race. This racial slur is over 100 years older than me. It's deeply rooted into Black history of how they used to dehumanize us, how, how they used to sell us and consider us animals. It's okay to say, oh, Spice was wrong for saying whatever I said, but it's a whole different thing when someone's response is to be a racist or someone's response is to come for black women and dehumanize them. You know, I seen a comment, Spice went low and Erica went to hell. I think that was the best way to describe it. Just because you go low, that doesn't mean you should go to hell. They kind of make you feel like disgusted. So you got to make amends. You need to do some history. You need to understand what you're saying because it's bad. I don't feel that there's a difference between using a racial story and being racist. It's the same thing. I listened to my great grandparents tell me stories about how they picked cotton and they were called monkeys. Monkey, get your monkey ass. It was very offensive. It wasn't right. So after the Bahamas, I personally wanted to speak to Erica to, in my mind, educate her on the history behind calling a person of African descent a monkey. Hi. The first time I saw Erica was at Bambi's divorce party. I wanted to talk to you. If Erica would have given a real, sincere, remorseful apology, I would have went to bat to fight for her because I think there could have been a teaching moment for Erica. Calling a black person a monkey? Listen, I was offended. You was offended. And, you, and let me tell you. Because you chose to be offended. No, no, no. Andy. I was offended because you because know me. No one's going to Erica, violate me using it's my not child. About There's no boundaries Listen, at that point. Erica was not very receptive to what I had to say. You called her a monkey. Said to you me? insulted so every she, person no, of African descent. I just wanted that moment of, like, I am sorry. Was it wrong? Yes. But at the same time, how dare she? The bitch crossed the line. She violated me by coming for my son, and I will do it all over the again if she does it again. Period. So you're saying you would do? Oh, you would say the same thing all over again? I didn't. I didn't say I would say the same thing. Oh. If I have to violate this bitch for talking about my kid, I will. Okay. Okay. Erica was on defense. She was just like, I said what I said, and that's it. This is another sister that just wasn't educated. She doesn't know. I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. I have black in my family. I have black children. I married a black man. My sister is the same color as you. We came out the same There's not a racist bone in my body. I'm just as black as probably all of you. I was super disturbed. Erica, being a mother of two black children, will quickly learn how this world treats people of color with a darker skin. Colorism is a real thing, and I never want to be a person that furthers that divide. I would more so prefer to bring us all together. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta star Erica Mena won't appear Erica in the Mena next season. Erica Mena will not appear in the next season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta after hurling a racial slur at her castmate Spice. announced today that Erica Mena will not appear in future seasons of their show, Hush. When you step across that line, you have to deal with that. You're saying racist words, and the way the world is today, they cancel you. It's only fair, and it would happen to any Anybody. She shouldn't have been making no damn monkey sounds to no black person, bottom line. I know my ancestry really well. So that's why I'm hurt. We're not going to accept it, and it's just wrong. We need to start having these conversations so that the lines aren't blurred and people aren't confused.